أجلان إيه بجي مونيتور مونوغراف أنا إنجاب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I'm going to talk about what's meant by an angab, normal an angab, high an angab, low an angab, corrected an angab. Before we start, I think we discussed this before. This is the uh, extracellular compartment is characterized by the electroneutrality, which means that the cations, all the cations, equals the anions. And we have different monitors like strong and different, you know, preferred phase, strong and gap, an angab and the positions all of them when we study all of them together uh, they are complementary are and are of importance for the diagnosis when we come to an gap, this is another monitor what did we mean by an gap? an gap we measured sodium plus potassium minus chloride and bicarbonate will equal this this is the fixed acid and fixed fixed acid this is a strong acids and this weak acids and uh, these are the two. This is uh, and that's why when I say an angab, an angab means uh, it means it has a number or a value. This value which equals this. This is the uh, uh, strong uh, acids. Uh, usually they are zero, but the total weak acids uh, which are sixteen. If we add um, potassium, if you do not add potassium, it will be twelve. That's why when I say this is the more an angab sodium minus chloride plus bicarbonate equals twelve. Or if we add potassium to 16, this is the total weak acids. Again, the strong anion gap equals strong cation, which is sodium, minus strong anion, which is chloride and bicarbonate. This equals uh, the two acids, weak acids and strong acids. These are fixed acids, and this fixed acids, which do which you do not dissociate, and uh, the weak acids, which you dissociate, like this is a uh, total weak acid, albumin, globulin, and phosphate. This is the formula in this monograph. This is sodium plus potassium uh, minus chloride uh, plus bicarbonate equals. Uh, this is the fixed acid and total weak acid, which is 16. Again, this is the uh, anion gap. This is the anion gap. Fixed acid equals fixed acid plus total weak acid. If we add potassium to 16, if we do not add potassium, it will be 12. Normal anion gap, let us discuss. This is normal anion gap may be re renal uh, tubular acidosis with a loss of uh, sodium bicarbonate or potassium bicarbonate, or in case of uh, uh, vomiting with loss of chloride and gain of bicarbonate, loss of uh, bicarbonate and gain of chloride in case diarrhea, all of these are associated well with normal anion gap. Infusion of uh, normal saline will be associated with normal anion gap. Start with uh, low anion gap and then after that, with uh, uh, normal anion gap, we'll discuss it later. This is the uh, number one vomiting. Vomiting there is a uh, loss of chloride. chloride instead of being uh, 106, uh, drops. There's loss of chloride, but at the same time, at the same time, there is gain of bicarbonate with the same equivalent. If I lost chloride 10 mL equivalent, I'm, I gain bicarbonate with 10 mL equivalent. So that in the two together here, this is normal is 130, also it will be 130. So the difference between sodium and sodium, potassium minus chloride and bicarbonate will be the same. So there is no change, no change in the anion gap. So in this case, vomiting, there will be loss of chloride. This is hypochromic metabolic alkalosis. This is chloride decrease and bicarbonate increase. When it comes to diarrhea, diarrhea, there is loss of uh, bicarbonate instead of 24, say it came to 14. At the same time, there is a uh, retention of, of chloride. So this is the difference between, this is uh, 130 and this is 130. So that's why in diarrhea, there is a uh, hyperchromic metabolic acidosis with normal anion gap. Renal tuber acidosis is loss of uh, sodium from this, uh, this is uh, a cation with loss of bicarbonate. Or loss of uh, potassium and loss of bicarbonate. That's why the two and the two the, and the two sides this equimolar loss. That's why it is uh, normal and angered metabolic acidosis. Normal saline. If you give normal saline, normal saline the rapid infusion of normal saline will be associated with hyperchromic metabolic acidosis with low and anger. But uh, the kidney corrects it by loss of uh, bicarbonate. That's why uh, finally it stays. Uh, you stay with hyperchromic metabolic acidosis with normal and anger. High anion gap, this means that uh, you are adding uh, fixed acid. This is an uh, increase in the strong anion. 
adding fixed acid which are non legibles or in case of hypernatremia. This is a high and hang gap. It's usually, this is a common common thing we, we usually face. It is high and hang gap metabolic acidosis, DKA in the form of uh, keto acid, uremic, uh, lactic acid, formic acid, beside alcohol. All these will be added. So, this is addition of these fixed acids will be uh, will, will, will uh, consume bicarbonate, equimolecular. So, there is loss of bicarbonate or decrease in the bicarbonate with increase in the fixed acid. When you measure that, this is, this is a decrease in the bicarbonate, so there's a difference here. This is uh, the uh, difference will be uh, high and N gap. High and N gap, this is uh, 140 plus 4 minus not 130, it is less than 130. That's why there is increase in the fixed acid. And that's why this is high anion gap. High anion gap, this means this is you are adding fixed acid. This has been added. This is, as we have mentioned before, anion gap equals, equals total weak acid plus fixed as fixed acid. Normal zero, but now increased. Increased, that's why the anion gap increased. High anion gap, hypernatremia. If the patient was severe, metabolic acidosis, and give him normal uh, sodium bicarbonate, or both sides give him sodium bicarbonate. This, uh, to start with, this patient had uh, lactic acid was high, that's why the anion gap was high. And when you give sodium bicarbonate, you are trying to increase the uh, bicarbonate, but at the same time, there is a load of uh, sodium. When you measure that, you'll find that this patient is having a high anion gap metabolic acidosis. In addition, this hypernatremic metabolic acidosis, hypernatremic, this is a mixed one. High bernatrium with sodium is high. This is strong and different. Sodium minus chloride is more than 40. This is metabolic alkalosis. High bernatrium with metabolic alkalosis with high anion gap metabolic acidosis. Low anion gap, this is increase in the strong uh, uh, cations or in increase in the cationic in immunoglobulin so or decrease in the weak anion, which is uh, hypoalbuminemia. Low anion gap, this is hypoalbuminemia, monoclonal, and poly. No colonal gamma basis, bromide, lithium, and all this increase in this, or the hypoalbuminemia. When it comes to this, hypoalbuminemia is associated with uh, uh, low anion gap. Normal because the decrease in the albumin is associated with decrease in ion gap. Why? Because the decrease in the albumin is associated with the increase of bicarbonate. So this is the normal albumin, this is normal uh, anion gap. Decrease in the albumin will be associated with uh, decrease in the anion gap. When you come to the another one, which is non-measured cation like immunoglobulin IgA and multiple myeloma, maybe immunoglobulin increasing in the uh, immunoglobulin um, uh, G, which is cationic, but immunoglobulin A and the M are anionic. So this immunoglobulin will be added uh, here in this uh, part with the cations. So this is the cationic part. This immunoglobulin, so increasing the immunoglobulin, will be associated with increase or retention of chloride. This is not measured, and this is measured. That's why when you measure it. Sodium minus chloride and bicarbonate will be low, and this is a very important one. Sodium is decreasing, and this multiple myeloma due, due to displacement to give pseudo hyponatremia, and at the same time, there is hypoalbuminemia. So, this is a problem for uh, for multiple myeloma. You'll find this patient is having a uh, 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 low anion gap. This is a case for sickle cell anemia and multiple myeloma. When you look at this, is the sodium is decreased, potassium normal, chloride is increased. Due to increase uh, uh, in the immunoglobin G, and at the same time, when the bicarbonate is decreased, when you measure the anion, anion gap, it is zero. Zero anion gap, or four point, uh, for when you add potassium, it is four. So, this is a very important, very interesting that you find that the anion gap is decreased too much due to the presence of uh, non measured cation, which with the concomitant increase in the chloride. Another one which is low anion gap, this is non measured, uh, non calculated cations, increasing the lithium, bromide, uh, calcium, magnesium, all of them they will be in the form of chloride, lithium chloride, bromide chloride. This is uh, all of them, so the chloride is measured and these are unmeasured. When you calculate it, it is uh, low anion gap due to the presence of uh, unmeasured uh, cations, but uh, which can come to increase uh, in the measured anion. Here another important point, which is corrected uh, uh, anion gap. Corrected anion gap, most of, most of the patients, critical elevations are usually suffering from uh, uh, hypoalbuminemia. This is a formula. You can, this is a corrected uh, immunoglobulins. Number one, this is uh, observed, but the, the calculated uh, immunoglobulins plus 0 0.25, 0 0.25, multiplied by normal or standard albumin minus the measured albumin in gram per cent, in gram per liter. This is uh, will give you the corrected uh, 
amino that corrected an, an angle. Normally, if you look at this, this is uh, the uh, uh, anion gap. This is uh, equals to total weak acid. Total weak acid, which is formed of album globulin and olive and uh, phosphorus, these uh, all of them together they form about 16 ml equivalent per liter. So, but what will happen? This is my reference. If uh, what will happen if uh, the album decreases? So, for sure, this decreases, and so the reference will, will change. So instead of being uh, uh, 16, maybe uh, 14, something like that. So look, this is a total weak acids. This is albumin, correct to convert the album from, from gram to milli equivalent, stem milli equivalent, globulin to, from gram to milli equivalent, this milli equivalent, organic phosphate from gram to milli equivalent. So all of them is 16. But keep in mind that the albumin is 4 gram per cent, 40 gram per liter, and multiplied by this 0.25 will give you 10 milli equivalent. So 1 gram will so again, this is the this is a normal this is total weak acids. This album for grams will give to 10 mL equivalent, and this is my reference value is 16 mL equivalent per liter. This is the anion gap. If uh, I, I didn't include the uh, potassium, to be 12 mL equivalent. Say if what will happen if the if the album dropped uh, to two grams, this means that uh, two grams. Uh, this is the album two grams decreasing the album by, by two grams. And look, look at this, this is the albumin, the uh, milli equivalent of the albumin of 2 grams would be 5 milli equivalent. So if you, if you uh, sum together or calculate them together, so the total weak acid will be 11. So my reference in this case will be 11. If, you, uh, if I, I don't include the potassium, my reference will be 7. So in this case, uh, I say more than 11 would be a high anion gap, less would be low anion gap, or... If, uh, uh, I, if I don't use uh, potassium, so this is my reference, uh, if sodium, uh, 7, more than 7 is high, lower than 7 is low, and normal is 7. This is the formula, as I've mentioned before, this is the calculate. Let us uh, see, this is example the same, the previous example, this is multiple myeloma, and look at this is the sodium, this is the potassium, the chloride, bicarbonate, this anion gap 0. If I want to make some sort of correction, this is the loss of this is the album in two in this patient. So the difference between four and two is two. Two multiplied by two point five. So this is a corrected an uh, uh, gap will be five. If I if I'm using the uh, 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 normal an gap is twelve. But uh, if I add the potassium, the uh, uh, corrected an gap will be nine. Uh, uh, refer my reference will be sixteen. So this is a, a low an gap. Low anion gap, 5 mill, mill corrected, corrected anion gap. This is, uh, will depend, I will not depend on the anion, normal anion gap because this is hypoalbuminemia. I will depend on the corrected anion gap. So the corrected anion gap is 5 uh, millimole or mill equivalent compared to 12. This is hypo, this is low anion gap. Or this is a 9 mill equivalent. If I added potassium compared to 16, this is a low anion gap. Another case, this is critical elevation with septic shocks and multiple organ uh, uh, failure. The management has consisted of cardioversity, mechanical palpitation, antibiotic, large volume of uh, normal solan. Here, what I want to say is this, this is the sodium, this is the chloride, this is the bicarbonate. If I say this is a uh, this is an ion gap, sodium minus chloride, bicarbonate, this is 10. This is an ion gap, is 10. But when you look at the uh, uh, album, as the album is low, so I have to, uh, uh, to measure the corrected. Uh, a corrected an anger. Corrected an anger. This is an anger. 10 plus if the difference here, but this is the normal 3.5 uh, and this is lower by 2. So 10 multi plus 2 multiplied by 2.5 is equal 15. So this is a corrected uh, an anger is 15 compared to 12. It is, this is a high anion gap. Okay, I will not make any comment on this is a normal, this is an anion gap, this is a calculated, but I, so long as there is high albuminemia, my reference will change, and this is a corrected anion gap, in this case it will be 15. Thank you.